Hey Cancer, this is Star. It is finally time for your whole story reading for April. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's really April and beyond, so yes, I do apologize that they are late, but like I said, they are really for April and beyond. So let's get started here with the shuffling. If you guys don't want to sit through this, you can always fast forward to the beginning of the reading. Okay, again, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, last one. Cancer, what do we have going on with you? Okay, sorry, give me a moment. I'm just um, taking this all in. Okay, Cancer. I feel as though this is, um, you're going through some sort of awakening about what was ingrained in you through generations um, so there's something here about permanence or tradition or some something of the sort that comes you know through through the generations like I said but it's it's almost like you're waking up to this so there was a sense of maybe seeing all of uh, that stuff from the past through rose-colored glasses or you didn't want ever to see any f flaw or um, any fault in, in, in the past in how you were raised or you know certain ideas that you were brought up with but I do feel that you know there is this um, awakening to the fact that somehow that however however that happened or however you were brought up or however you know the this thought process um, that you had it somehow did hold you back or um, allowed you to miss out on certain opportunities in life um, and may have caused you a, a great amount of pain in certain points of your life but you did learn from this pain so um, although you went through some difficult situations now you're you're just awakening to different ideas different points of view um i see you going through like i said this major transformation you're moving on finally i feel like you're you're letting go of a lot of insecurities that you had in the past um fear an intense fear of failure uh, i feel like you're you're letting go of that um there was a lot of situations here that you allowed other people's opinions to hold you back in, in taking chances, taking risks um, that could have been really lucrative for you or, or simply it was something, um, maybe even like a dream for you to, to, to pursue, but you didn't. 
because of fear, fear of failure, fear of what people would say, fear of being, being criticized, especially. Um, and I'm getting especially uh, when it comes to family, uh, with this Ten of Cups here being in reverse and the Queen of Swords being in reverse. I feel like there's somebody, could very well be a female energy, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm, I am seeing an energy here within like a family unit that can be super critical to the point of, uh, you know, being hurtful. Um, and I feel like, you know, you've gotten to the point where you're ready to let that go. I, I feel like this is a burden that you've been carrying for a long time that has held you back because... Uh, this experience, especially with this energy, and I do feel for a lot of you, it is a female energy. Um, this experience with this person caused you a lot of pain in the past. Um, and, and, and now I think you're ready. You're ready maybe to see it from, from the perspective of the role that you also played in this or um, maybe also like the lessons that you needed to learn along the way or, or in other words how this experience also was instrumental in making you stronger and making you the person that you are today so let's see here Yeah, the, so, wow, okay, let's see. So I'm seeing like a change of luck that even, even you, either you were doubting or you weren't expecting for this to, to happen. Um... It's almost like you were used to struggling. You were used to things not going your way, um, having to fight your way to, to the top or, or, or just to make it. Um, and, and all of a sudden, things become a lot easier for you, uh, especially I feel when it comes to work for a lot of you. I see, I see that uh, being very stable, a very stable situation. So it's interesting because it's almost as though there may be a, um, a situation that needs to be let go of or, um, but at the same time, there's, there's an abundance of offers. There's an abundance of opportunity around you as well. So there's definitely change, okay, because right in this last line we have in the middle of this is the Wheel of Fortune. It's in the upright. So whatever is happening here and right next to that is the Knight of Cups. So yeah, like I said, new opportunities, new offers, um, people interested And I feel it comes, this starts to come at a time where you have already lost hope or you're constantly perhaps even expecting for things to be difficult. And then you're going to start to find that all of a sudden they're not, they're just not going to be difficult anymore. They're just progressively easier. All of a sudden you're getting what you want. All of a sudden um, you have this stability, even though it's like everything around you may be changing, but you're okay you're 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 good so let's let's clarify okay yeah so so definite uh, like a moment of truth is what i'm seeing here and there was definitely a period of um maybe even like isolation, introspection, all for the purpose of be, being able to let go of those emotions that you've been carrying around.
I feel as though cancer, um, there's a sense here that you have always, always felt that, you know, you have this, um, task or, or whatever it's, it, it's like your burden to bear, to uh, carry everyone's problems on your back, including your own, uh, obviously. So your own problems and everybody else's are your problem. Um, and however, whenever you have an issue, there's this thinking that it's just you. It's just you against the world. It's it, it's no it, it, you're not counting on anyone else. And I see that changing here. I there's there's like a new cycle starting with res, with respect specifically to something related to that. Okay, so however that resonates for you, it sounds kind of specific, but it's coming through pretty strongly. So okay, let's see. I also see here, um, there was some, I feel like a lot of you had a fear of commitment because of ideas that you had, uh, you know, stemming from how you were raised um, or just ideas that, that you had just from wherever, <laughs> you know, through the years that those are the ideas that you had in mind with regards to relationships and love and and um, what that all meant. Um, and I think the, that idea is actually changing for you. It's transforming whatever that means to you. Um, I feel like whatever it was in the past, it's you're discovering that that doesn't work for you anymore or that idea that you had of what being in a relationship meant for you back then doesn't make sense for you right now. So clearly it, it's a general reading, so that's gonna be different for each of you. But, um, yeah, however that resonates. Um, but that is changing. That's what I'm seeing here is that that idea is changing and you're letting go of, I feel as though, you know, the way that you were letting people love you in the past, you realize is not, is not how you want to be loved. And now you are discovering or you, well, first of all, you're discovering that you have the confidence, um, to say, and to identify how you want to be loved and to now demand that that is what you want and you won't settle for less. Um, I think that, that that was a process that you were going through as well here. Um, you were letting go of, of a lot of uh, a need for, I want to say like validation. What is this? I'm sorry, I can't see here. Okay, the star, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that you were, you had gotten yourself into a place of, uh, you know, where you were just, your self-esteem was really low, um, or you didn't have a lot of confidence that things would ever work out for you. There was a lot of negative thinking. That's what I'm seeing there. I feel as though you, you may have seen yourself as being naive and um, I feel like you blamed yourself for things that, that probably were not your fault. Maybe you were dealing with people who were not deserving of your company. Um, but you were taking it as it being your fault because of, you know, your lack of confidence or your insecurities, your, your, you being inexperienced, whatever the case is here. It's like you're blaming yourself. But somebody, uh, I'm seeing you getting, <laughs> someone's getting karma here for something. So, so, 
something happened to you here in the past and i don't know if this is related to like perhaps it's it's like somebody yeah i feel like it kind of is so there may have been somebody who a lover okay so somebody who may have broken your heart or uh, lied to you or made some false promises um but i feel like there's going to be a karma situation happening here uh maybe with um, someone you had broken up with in the past. It's possible this person may come back and tell you that they, they actually see you as somebody that they would like to be in a long-term relationship with. But yeah, I feel like, um, let's see. I see you blocking, blocking someone and it's, it's like you're enjoying it. You're enjoying blocking somebody's communication. Yes, <laughs> because you don't miss this person anymore. You're you're over them. Seven of Swords. Yeah, because uh, yes, this person broke your heart. They they were not very honest with you, and so you're over it emotionally, and and you know that they are deceptive, and so it, you know that they just don't serve you basically. they have had you on their mind a lot but you have moved on you you not only have you moved on but you're so far um i feel like in maturity wise you're so far ahead of them that it, it would just incompatible is what i'm seeing okay so we have yeah anyway that that's what i'm seeing here yes so knight of swords ten of swords you're you're you might actually have to block them their communication because they may actually get so persistent that's what i'm seeing here that that it starts to get annoying like it's not it's not funny anymore that's what i'm hearing like it's not funny anymore it's not cute anymore yeah okay so I feel like this is, um, th there's also like the closing of a karmic cycle with someone. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but of course it doesn't have to be. Um, but I do feel this person can be, uh, you know, very charismatic, very sexy. Um, very can be aggressive as well you know this person is very driven and very sure of themselves they're very confident uh but with three of cups there being in reverse i feel like this confidence this confidence that used to attract them to you before it repels them now that you can't stand it and so it's really over with that person this is the end of a karmic cycle between you and another person is what i'm seeing here Strength in reverse. Yeah, okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles is here twice. And we have your energy here, the Queen of Cups. So I kind of pick up, you know, with the two queens coming up like that, I, I feel like it's your energy and somebody else's. So you, some of you may have been dealing with an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but I feel like your energies were kind of matching in a sense, but in a weird way, like not, not necessarily in a positive way. I'll tell you how. Um, they were matching in the sense that you were both kind of receptive to each other. 
you may have, you know, been affectionate with each other and whatnot, but there was neither one of you was really making any moves, you know, to advance the relationship or, or, you know, it, it was just kind of just, it was just a situation basically is what I'm seeing because they're page of cups in reverse. It, I just feel like things weren't even talked about. Nothing was really ever declared. Um, there was no commitment, but there was receptivity to definitely, I feel intimacy. Um, weird. Um, It's almost like someone offered it, but but the other person didn't have the courage to see it through or, or... Interesting. Okay, so let's see what else. All right, let me pick all these cards up and we'll get started again. So if you guys are interested, perhaps, in a personal reading, you can contact me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. Um, all the information is in the description box below. <clears throat> prices and whatnot. There are prices for everyone. I do video readings just like the ones I hear on YouTube. Um, and as well as some email readings for those of you who only need maybe one question, one or two questions answered. I offer those as well. All right, Cancer. What else do we have? So I feel like you definitely are going to get some clarity soon regarding a situation um, that maybe you didn't get closure on. Let's see. Yes, so I'm seeing here, um, it, it, it's de there's definitely the, the end of a karmic cycle. Um, and I want to say that it was toxic, whatever you were dealing with in the past or whoever it was that you were dealing with in the past, it was, it was kind of toxic. It was not something, or it, it just got to the point that it, it needed to exit your life. Um, and I think that you finally get clarity on this and you allow for these changes, this, this to exit, um, because you recognize the fact that it was bringing disharmony, uh, and you were just you know, kind of stressed out, um, irritable, uh, because of these connections. And so you chose you and you may have chosen to block certain people or you're choosing to block certain people. This could be, you know, coming up for you. So yes. So yeah, I'm, I, I mean, I'm seeing here there's going to be some tough decisions about connections that you have with certain people that you have invested in. So these could be friendships. These could be romantic relationships. Um, you know, it, it could even be family. 
to be quite honest. Um, but there are relationships here that seem to bring you more stress than anything else. Okay, so I do see you kind of making a decision to just kind of go your separate ways from certain people, certain connections that <clears throat> no longer serve you. Um, also, Hmm. I see you, um, I feel like you're allowing yourself to just let let the days tell you how how things are going to be um, and not stress too much about like details or planning or um, you know something like that I feel like you have been healing here and 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 letting go of a lot but you're definitely going through some sort of awakening process um, and this process has led you to be or to feel more independent because you you are now feeling more secure within yourself whereas before you kind of felt like you needed other people's guidance other people even though you you wanted to take care of everyone you always kind of felt that I, I I'm getting the sense that there there was a feeling of even though you took all the burden upon yourself you still had this feeling of you needed the validation of making sure you did a good job you know whereas now you don't need that anymore and you you're actually realizing that there's certain connections of certain people that that are kind of holding you back from plans and goals that you have kind of pending here with this you know these aces and I, I see a lot of signs of new beginnings. I mean, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, this magician here. Um, but I'm also seeing signs of, you know, if so, if uh, I feel as though you're not letting emotions getting in, get in the way anymore. You're you are allowing um, practicality to enter into that equation of figuring out whether or not you want to spend time with someone or figuring out whether or not somebody gets to participate in your life. Whereas before, maybe there was no consideration of practicality at all. It was all emotional is kind of what I'm feeling here. <clears throat> and that may have led to a lot of heartbreak um, on your part. It may have led to a lot of loss, a lot of feeling of betrayal, and 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 in some, in most cases, I mean, it may have been the other person's fault, but also, it may have been, you know, that you kind of left the door wide open for a lot of that to happen with with that, you know, lack of boundaries. Um, so let's clarify. what are we letting go of let's see what this is uh the chariot in reverse so we're letting go of your old identity exactly what that is okay the devil in reverse knave of wands in reverse yeah you see i feel that's more like um there was something insecurities it's fear-based the whatever this is it's it's whatever stopped you from doing what you really loved what you really desired what you what you lusted after you know that that type of thing that type whatever whatever did it for you whatever turned you on i feel like there was an energy or something, either a person, a situation, a, a thing, an energy in your life that was shutting that down for you, whatever that was for you. And you are now aware of this and you're putting an end to that. Yeah, five of swords. Like you're aware 
that this was causing you this five of swords state of mind uh, on a constant basis and so a, a change needed to happen and you started planting the seeds for that to occur the emperor yeah the emperor with the nine of swords in reverse so in order for you to um, be able to let go of that <clears throat> nine of swords energy that that worry that despair constantly um, you had to take control of the situation the magician with the nine six of pentacles in reverse yeah okay so right now you are trying to uh, manifest uh, balance and harmony back into your life Mm -hmm. because you you recognize that there are there's an opportunity here for you to start something brand new to start fresh you don't have to continue living the way that you had been in the past justice and the eight of wands in reverse so i feel like you know this cutting communication or or cutting ties with people cutting ties with your past I'm getting um, you feel justified in this and you feel like taking your life in this different direction is going to be uh, better for you better for your development overall but you are you still worry though you I, I see you here still worried whether or not you're putting whether or not you're taking the right action, putting your energy in, to, into into the right thing here. Let's see, what, what is this? This is the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Because the thing is that you're, you're letting go of everything that you ever knew for something new that really doesn't even, it's kind of abstract at this moment this way this new way of life is abstract for you at the moment because it you don't quite feel accustomed to it yet it's it's not really a part of you yet you just know that you can't continue the way that things were before um okay so we have the lovers the three of wands five of swords and the knave of swords in reverse Again, I get this feeling of being judged. I almost get this feeling like you want to run away. You want to go off in a different direction because wherever it is that you are, you feel watched. You feel judged. Um, it's it's kind of odd. Um, let's see. Okay. wow okay so i'm seeing here you may be delayed um in in some something that you want to accomplish so whatever that means for you uh, but i'm seeing here that there's a need i'm seeing you here frustrated so the i don't know exactly the timeline but i'm seeing you here frustrated that there's there, there there's a there's a there's like a, a process that needs to be followed or a specific timeline for some of you um it's almost like you can't skip any steps okay that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm i'm getting here uh so there's there's a certain amount of work that needs to be put in to something that you may be you know offered an opportunity um this could be related definitely to a uh, career um so there may be like a new career opportunity for some of you but i'm seeing here that you may get a little bit frustrated because there's there is some work that needs to be put into it that maybe you didn't expect the amount of it um okay 
And then the other thing is that you have to get over as well as, uh, you know, making the decision to even take this opportunity because I feel like the opportunity is coming. Uh, there's going to be, an, and it's not just one, okay, by the way. There is going to be multiple opportunities for you, um, I feel, in the area of career. So this could be, this is not just for April. This is, I feel like, throughout the year. Um, you may get these opportunities where you have this chance to let go of. So this could be let go of a present job where you have been. Uh, you may be feeling like in a comfort zone, but there may be a decision to have to be made here because there's new opportunities um, at your disposal. Now, I, I am seeing here there is a chance um, that one of them is going to make you really, really happy. <laughs> so... Um, let's see. Okay, let me see here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, the, the opportunities are going to come, but what I see here is that you actually need to wait for, there is no action to take at this point, I'm seeing. So even if you're seeing opportunities, I feel like this is not the time to take the action. Um, and you, you will know when, because there's, there's, there's some instability coming ahead, is what I'm seeing here. Um, so whatever is about to happen needs to happen first before, before anything. So let the chips fall first, basically is what they're saying. Yeah. I'm seeing, for a lot of you, I'm seeing a new a new job here. Um, you're letting one go because you're accepting a new one. That's what I'm seeing. Yes, it's pretty, pretty clear for, so I'm going to say this is for a good majority of you because it's pretty um, clear. <clears throat> I'm going to say it's because, okay, so for whatever reason, they don't want you to take, or they're, they're advising to not take the action yet. They're just saying that there's going to be some turbulence, so maybe something needs to pan out for some reason, but I feel as though this, whatever happens, there's going, there's going to be some kind of um, conflict or something, and as a result of that, you will end up moving on. And I think, you know, this, this change is going to be positive for you. But that felt like it, it would be for the majority, the way that that came through. All right, let's finish this up, Cancer. Almost done. Last one. Okay, so finishing up here, we have the Four of Swords reverse, the Moon reverse, King of Wands, ooh, King of Cups. Wow. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't see this. Okay. Mm 
Wow. Wow. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I see you guys. You, you, your life is like drastically changing. That's, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, and you're completely open to this change. You are um, like a co-conspirator of this, this revolution. This the tower card in this deck is called Revolution. Wow, yeah. So see two of wands here. Um, I mean, it's it's super clear. So if if you're not even thinking about it, it would surprise me. That, but this is this feels so. Okay, so we have four of swords in reverse with the death card, which means that I, I feel like a lot of you may have gone through like a period of isolation where maybe you detached from a lot of people, stopped talking to a lot of people, and you definitely went through a metamorphosis, a transformation, total transformation. Um, it could have been as a result of endings that happened in your life, um, some heartbreak, there could have been heartbreak there, whatever it was. Um, for some of you, even it could have been a mourning period, um, but you came out of it a different person is really the point of it. Uh, and, but now, now that you're coming out of it, now that you are wanting to see the light, you're wanting to get out there and reunite with people. I see you here as being full of energy, um, you want to feel full of life again. Um, I feel like you've been depleted. It's almost as though you've been depleted of sunshine or something, and, and you just want to uh, replenish yourself again. And right here in the center is the King of Cups, which is totally your, your energy, clarified by the Fool. So again, you, in a very mature state, in the maturest state that... You, you know, the tarot can show you in, excuse me, as the king of cups, but at the same time, giving yourself this freedom to take some sort of leap of faith in your life to completely and drastically cut ties with, with eight of swords and the hierophant with everything that was mentally blocking you, that was holding you back, um, as a result of, past, um, like I said, your upbringing, traditions, uh, religion, um, society, you know, whatever, family values, you know, ideologies, whatever, um, all that kind of stuff. I feel you have like emancipated yourself from this and you're ready to walk away. You're ready to leave in the past. However, that um, may have hurt you or caused trauma. I think you, you have processed all of this um, and you're ready now to face the world and you're ready to have fun. You're ready to, to feel alive again. Like I said, you're letting go of the emotional baggage and the insecurities, the feeling helpless, all of that, that once held you back. Um, a lot of it actually was, ironically, it's almost like you you wanted to be the strong one but that was holding you back uh it's crazy it's crazy it was holding you back because there was a lot of guilt here that eight of swords with the hierophant it's 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 so It's almost like being helpless, <clears throat> helpless to uh, somebody else's um, ideas, you know, uh, and then having the strength to walk away, walk away from that. But I feel like you have support in that. So you're not really alone in this, you know, like, like maybe... Um, Maybe you had been in the past or you felt in the past. I, I don't feel like now you're alone in this. I feel, I see you as being supported in this tower moment that, that I actually feel is self-imposed. I feel like that's why I feel like this is something that you actually worked on. This is something that you planned. 
you planned very meticulously this 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 fool this that you wanted this tower to come down so that you could start this new journey for yourself as this new person and it all with with a, a clear vision seven of swords in reverse a clear vision of what the truth now really is because whatever was being fed to you in the past was holding you back and it was it was clearly not your truth I don't know if it was somebody else's truth but it was not yours um, and so that's why with the seven of swords in reverse you now seeing the truth we are clarifying here now with the two of wands that's why this change change in the road a fork in the road and and, and you changing course you are your life is totally transforming because you are transforming you are a different person um, but you are full of full of energy to to start this journey again um, but with a twist with a different twist with your own with your own twist and nobody else's influence so that is your reading cancer i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did give me a like and i'll see you guys soon bye bye